Do, do you like high crash videos? I do like them. But do you think can we learn from them? Because I think yes. This is Kite Crash Monday, where I'm going to give you my version of the mistake and how to fix it. My name is Zoti, I am an Aikyo senior instructor with a decade of experience in teaching others. Join me. It's a nice jump. The guy jumps into its nice front row rotation, but somehow forgets the kite pretty much far on the side, ending up doing a boogie loop. Yeah, this is an orbit. Orbit loops in no effort, so even though he did not pull that kite loop really tight, the orbit finished the loop. The mistake is that he kept pulling on one side without knowing what the kite is doing. When you go into a rotation, you have to disconnect your hands and the rotation because this is how it's gonna end up. So once you rotate, you need to keep your hands as they are. If you rotate like this, this is a big no-go. Doing a water start loop. The dude is doing actually pretty okay. Legs are tucked in, he pulls the bar. But then what happens? He steers like I would steer for a kite loop. That sets the kite into a very aggressive and fast dive. And the power is there, oh, he does lock. This is all beginner stuff. Teaching them in a correct way, you can avoid these typical reflexes to turn on. So the solution will be steer, but just gently and wait for the power to come. And when you feel it's coming, it's about to build up, stop the dive. Steer gently, wait, wait, even three seconds, and then the power will be gentle and understandable. And that's what you're looking for at this stage. It's launching. Well, this happens to anyone among beginners. This is the most typical mistake. The dude is launching, the bar is fully down. Obviously the kite is not in the correct position, so he feels no tension on the back lines, and therefore he pulls the bar to get the tension. He's not willing to move at all. You can see the kite is flapping, so there is, it's not inside the wind window. And of course, the kite will drift inside the wind window, and not into the green zone, further to the red zone. And if he would let the bar go like, like here, and put full tension in the center line, Boom, the kite would have shoot up. I try to avoid this kind of teaching. You can help the person, you can hold, you can babysit. Seemingly it's a good idea. They're not gonna learn shit and they're gonna struggle without you. Help them with tricks that helps their progression, that helps them to understand how to stabilize the body in the water. But holding it like this and moving the bar and moving the board for them, it's not a way forward. Another water start. Steering the bar quite big time to the left. And one steering, yeah, locking it in. The kite went to the left, started to dive, and it kept diving because the person just keep pulling the bar, so taking out all the energy. In this moment, it's getting too much. So the person gets all taken out of the water and, oh, losing the hands. This is okay to do if you lose control, but in this stage, I would teach something different, like make a smaller dive and stop it. So unless you learn how to stop the dive, you may be a little too early to do water starts and stopping the dive is essential to get up and get the kite to the place you want. Send your footage if you like to see them here and like to review them how to fix the mistake you've done. Guys, Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.